Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Do I have uh, you know, enjoy the sports week, and we had a washout down here in South Florida. I think you guys had some pretty decent weather, though. Yeah, we did. It didn't. It didn't. It, in St. Pete, it it only rained a little. I know it's it's pretty wild. Yeah. And and a good football game yesterday. So, oh my uh, God. Yeah, life that's is something good. else, man. But they did. Uh, uh, Buccaneers held them to three points. The Bears yeah. yesterday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> and that's you, a good. You know, it's so cool, man. They just have an all around great team. I mean, oh, it's they just do. not. It's just you know Brady. Yeah, puts it together. But I mean, but they get they they did defense the the you know. The backs, oh my God! The you know the the, the ends. I mean, they they have it. Period, man. It's yeah. While well, while well, well, sitting at the Miami Dolphins game yesterday, watching another loss, uh, my my buddies now we just looked at each other and said, "Why did we get Brady?" Seriously, man. <laughs> you know, I, I, I find it hard to believe that we even got him. It was like this is like heaven on earth, man. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. So in the markets, uh, you know, the markets have been trading within a sideways consolidation for months. That's represented on our screen here by those white rectangles. And the cool thing, folks, about consolidation patterns is they provide us with measured move price objectives, either to the upside or to the downside. So that's what's pictured on uh, this slide here that we're taking a look at. And both the ES, that's the S&P 500, and the YM, the Dow, are signaling consolidation breakouts meaning that price may target for the S&P or the ES mini 48.16 and 37.399 for the uh, uh, Dow. That would be their measured move. And, and when you do get measured move or when you get consolidation breakouts, folks, it, the, the pattern or the price objective is the measured move. It's equal to or greater than. So it can be above these numbers. Now, these breakouts are lining up with our favorable seasonal cycle. So okay. this is a one-year seasonal cycle. Typically, we get a bottom in the middle of October. In the case of the Dow, that bottom formed on October 5th when there was a bull sash candle that confirmed a Rhodes momentum indicator signal out here. So everything lining up with a seasonal bottom. However, the Dow equity future contract is likely going to form a TD9 count top by Wednesday. So today is bar number eight. We've uh, th This chart here was snapshotted uh, a couple of hours ago. We've exceeded that high, I believe. And uh, so that generates bar number eight. So that says we should see some type of short term top between uh, today and uh, Wednesday. That means that there's a pit stop that is likely in place. And that pit stop should take price right down to when this uh, this this little green and red line I refer to as the oscillator and change line. Okay. And the cool thing about this tool, Tom, is that when the line changes colors, went from red to green about five, six, seven days ago, we typically see price and that line catch up to each other. Now, ideally, you get some type of topping signal. And that's where the TD9 count pattern comes into play. So approximately, if we get that pattern, we're looking at the Dow equity future contract pulling back to about the 35098 level. And uh, uh, if uh, if that doesn't hold, you've got a brand new daily profile that's attempting to form in the Dow. Now, I won't have confirmation of this until this evening, but if this pattern does hold, this would say an additional support level would be the bottom of that profile, and that's at the 34,946 level. Now, the ES mini chart looks very similar to the Dow. It's going to form a TD9 count top. We see that it's oscillator and change line, changed colors. That's where my cursor is at. And so that suggests that we should see, once the top forms, we should see price pull back and test that level. And again, we expect that top to form by Wednesday. And uh, if uh, and that current oscillator and change line is about 44.74, so that would be one downside target. The next downside target would be about 44.92 to 45.12. This is a bullish structure daily profile that the ES is trying to form. Again, I won't have confirmation until this evening, but if folks listen to the show tomorrow at one o'clock, we'll have confirmation. I'll be able to share those profiles with them. So. Should these tops form, we would expect price would pull back. And all of a sudden, that will take the ES Mini and the Dow back inside their consolidation pattern. So was it a real breakout? Was it a false breakout? And therefore, we, for that first clue, if price pulls back, tests that green line and rejects it, Tom, that would be a bullish signal and be an indication that we should break out of these consolidation patterns. Wow, wild, man. And yeah. listen, folks, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see Mastering Probability, right and featured content. You can get it for a month, six months, a year. They all come, folks, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Check it out. Steve, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.